I own this store called Championship Vinyl. It's located in a neighborhood that attracts the bare minimum of window shoppers. I get by because of the people who make a special effort to shop here. Mostly young men who spend all their time looking for deleted Smith singles. An original, not re-released underline. Frank Zappa albums. Fetish properties are not unlike porn. I'd feel guilty taking their money if I wasn't, well, kind of one of them. Morning, Dick. Oh, hi. Hi, Rob. Good weekend? Yeah, OK. Um, I found the first Licorice Confits album over at Vintage Vinyl, the one on Testament of Youth. Never released here, a Japanese import only. Great, great. I'll tape it for you. No, that's OK, really. Because you like their second one, you said, um, Pop Girls, etc. It's the one with Cheryl Ladd on the cover. Oh, you never saw the cover, though. You just had that tape I made you. Yeah, I haven't really absorbed that one yet. Well. I'll just make it for you. Okay. Dick, what's this? It's the new Bell and Sebastian. Do you like it? Holy shit! What the fuck is that? It's the new Bell and Sebastian. That... It's the record we've been listening to and enjoying, Barry. Well, that's unfortunate because it sucks ass. Yours, I assume? Okay, buddy, uh, I was just trying to cheer us up, so go ahead. Put on some old sad bastard music, see if I care. I don't want to hear old sad bastard music, Barry. I just want something I can ignore. Here's the thing. I made that tape special for today. My special Monday morning tape for you. Special! What's fucking Monday afternoon? You should get out of bed earlier. Come on, dude. Play it. Don't you want to hear what's next? What's next? Play it! Say it. Little Latin loopy loo. <laughs> Mitch Ryder and the Detroit Wheels? No! The Righteous Brothers. Well, never mind. No, not never mind. You tell me right now, what's wrong with the Righteous Brothers? Nothing. I just prefer the other. Bullshit! One. How can it be bullshit to state a preference? Since when did this store become a fascist regime? Since you brought that bullshit tape in. Oh, man, that's great. That's the fun thing about working in a record store. You get to play crappy pap you don't even want to listen to. I just. I thought this tape was going to be a fucking conversation stimulator, man. I was going to ask you for your top five records to play on a Monday morning and all that, and you just had to fucking ruin it. Well, we'll do it next Monday. No! I want to do it now! I can't fire them. I hired these guys for three days a week, and they just started showing up every day. That was four years ago. 